and you thought when, it was when real? I came in and I sat down and listened to the rest of it. <laughs> and uh, I knew it was a fake. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even give it a second thought. <laughs> but uh, in the days following, at Big Hollow Blue, uh, people uh, in New Jersey where the land, uh, the uh, the plane, the plane the aircraft landed, and the Martians jumped out and started <laughs> to kill everyone, were uh, thinking it was real. Uh. And it was presented in that manner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he was so good. Uh, I think one of the uh, uh, it, parts of it was uh, they were broadcasting from a hotel such and such in New York. People dancing out on the floor. And this is what they did, you know. Uh, they would... Uh, <clears throat> have a half hour show of, uh, of dance music or just music you know yeah from the famous hotel in New York <laughs> and then the announcer would come on the, on the radio and say we are now transferring you to some place in New Jersey in which uh -huh. of course one is is saying that this big, huge ship is coming out of the sky. <laughs> and people would, uh, were believe, would maybe turn in at that time and believe it. It, was, uh, it sounded, uh, you know, just like that. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Rosebud. No, that wasn't Rosebud. I know. <laughs> no, I remember. <laughs> uh, that was called, that was the Mercury Theater that uh, he formed with uh, about uh, ten or twelve other actors. Hmm. A lot of actors, famous actors, uh, were part of that at that time in 1938. Mm -hmm. yeah, hmm. but, but he was only 23 years old. Oh, gosh, wow! He was a whiz kid. Yeah. <laughs> and he uh, oh, uh, did uh, pretty good for, with his acting career, but Lola. all of a sudden he put on weight and uh, <laughs> lost his um, <laughs> ability to play leading man roles. Mm -hmm. hmm. But he was... Um, Really set the world on fire. Yes. <laughs> Everyone knew his name. Huh? Everyone knew his name. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Orson Welles. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, I was going to say great effect. But, uh, jo Joseph Cotton was mm. one of them. Mm. And uh, there was a woman there uh, that was quite fa uh, quite famous went on to pick up quite famous. A number of uh, actors uh, became quite uh, famous in, that were in that group when hmm. it started out. Hmm. And radio, you know, back in 1938, radio was uh, top notch. <laughs> there was, uh, I mean, there's no such thing as television and yeah. radio was um, uh, in that uh, sector of being uh, available to everyone. Yeah. Huh. And uh, it was it was uh, the big deal for actors. Yeah. Radio actors. And so it's, um, it was quite a change uh, when television came. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it really just disrupted things. Uh, it turned uh, Radio upside down. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you saw the girls match yesterday. Huh? Did you see the girls playing tennis yesterday? The final. Yeah, I, I, I saw.